here. But for right now, let's just go ahead and set our values uh, for this demonstration purposes. So let's go set them to something like uh, 16 to 1 so we can just illustrate this very easily. Now our O2 kill min RPM is going to be the minimum RPM we want to shut off uh, our engine if we go into this lean protection mode. So we want to have it lower than our engine rev limiter protection here. So let's set it something like 3000 RPM. And we're going to look at our minimum TPS. We want to have it so that we're essentially at full throttle. We're not going to be worried about going lean if we're at 50% throttle because uh, we're, we're not going to be in a situation where it's going to do uh, any kind of damage to the engine uh, most likely. So let's go ahead and set this to something like 80%. So we can go from 75 to 100%. It'll be a sufficient range. And our delay is going to be how long we're going to wait after it trips this air fuel target at whatever load we're at till it actually turns on. Now I recommend you set this to something like 750 to 1000 milliseconds or uh, three quarters to a, a one full second. So let's go ahead and set that to something like 800 milliseconds just for right now. And that's gonna wait. You don't wanna have a value that's too low here because if it's too low and you're shifting and you get back on the throttle, you might have your acceleration enrichment may not be set up perfectly and you might have a, a slight bit of lean spike or your wideband has some lag to it as it's reporting back into the EMS and it's going to uh, say that it's lean but it may not be and you're going to hit this fail safe protection and it's going to be uh, uh, annoying so you don't want to have it too low. So going from the 750 to 1000 milliseconds is going to be sufficient. Now next we're going to turn on this kill feature. If we turn this on it's going to completely shut off the engine and uh, we have to come back under the condition for it to turn back on. So let's go ahead and use that kill feature. And then we're gonna go and test this now. So we're at uh, uh, 3000 RPM is gonna be the minimum point for the kill to occur, 80% throttle. So what we're gonna do is bring our throttle level up here. So it's going to uh, get up into more full throttle. So let's go ahead and simulate we're at 90% throttle. And let's bring our engine RPM up to uh, something a bit higher. And uh, let's see what's gonna happen here. So I said that my, uh, my air fuel here, my wideband has to be uh, at least uh, oh, we're on the overheating protection. Let's go ahead and turn our coolant temperature down here. So we're off that. So now we're uh, not having our protection feature on. So we're at 15 to 1 air fuel right now running at this particular load. And 16 is my limit. Let me go ahead and lean out my air fuel and let's see what's going to happen here. Let's go ahead and slowly lean this out and see what's going to happen. As soon as I lean it out, we can see that it kills the uh, engine and it's going to keep this kill feature on and it's not coming off because we haven't dropped below this kill point here. So let me 